gotta yes, praise she you. Is. I gotta praise you. I love it. Hi guys. Hey. Oh, thanks good for coming to see in. You. Thanks. Listening off all those appearances, I'm like, I'm like an open envelope. I'm like, anyone else <laughs> want to invite me anywhere I'm else? There. Promotion 101. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. So I can't believe it's five years since your last album. Doesn't I know. feel like that. I know. It's. I think it's because I do TV and I do all this other stuff that um, it doesn't feel like five years. But really, yeah, body of work. It's been five years. Why, why has it been so long? Is it, do you get nervous about releasing new music? What is it? I don't even just. I just don't force it. I think it's just like when it feels right. And um, I found a really great uh, situation for myself with the BMG and a real brand new deal where I own all my masters and I just got really inspired to write again. Um, and I dug deep into my songwriting and I felt like it was time to just kind of put it out to the world again. I've always loved that about you though. Like, you know, having you on the radio when you first started out and stuff. And it always seems like so many bands feel like, I guess, not so, to a point pressured into, yeah. okay, we've invested a lot of money in you, so we need yeah. the album, then we need the tour. And that's, to be fair yeah. to record companies, that's, you know, yeah. that's the model, right? Yeah, of course. Whereas it's always felt like you've kind of, kind of done your own thing when you wanted to do it. Am I right in thinking that? Or? Yeah, and I also think it's got something to do with just being an all-round entertainer. You know, I really do enjoy connecting with people and entertaining and sort of doing TV and film and things like that. It does take up a lot of your time, and so when I do do music, I really want to just hone in on just that. Yeah. And so that's what I did, and we uh, spent about two years going through my journal, which I've never really done before. I've never been a journaler, weirdly. And so I did that with this album, and it just kind of... It helped. Now, will I be doing it all the time? Do you journal every day or every week? Yeah, I just tried it, you know, I don't know. Somebody told me actually you should give it a shot, and I did, and then songs came out of it, and now here we are. I've got an album called You and I. You sit <laughs> through the journal and some days were like, milk delivered. Makes no sense. No, so, yeah. <laughs> Zero sense. <laughs> Is it not? No, not at all. Sunrise was nice There's today. No, it's not even sentences. <laughs> it's just words, and then, you know, those words, I have a good team, good bunch of songwriters that I work with, and they were like, OK, let's turn this into something, and... You know, naturally, it just happened. And that, for me, is, like, the best way to make music, in my opinion. All your music has dropped some serious beats. Thank Are you. there going to be some beats in this new music? What's it going to be yeah. like? Is it very serious? Is it... It's not crazy serious. It's just a bit more, sort of, simple, in my opinion. It's got a bit more honesty to it, and it's not so driven about all the bold, kind of loud sounds like my previous albums. I'd like to say it's more of a storybook, you know? And it's something I challenged myself with... I love pop songs, I love big anthemic records, but this was a little challenge for me and I'm really proud to say I've just ticked that off the list. But the summer's going to be full of um, surprises and features, so look out for that. Well, I'm very excited to see the video because you and I was yeah. actually directed by your husband, which is amazing. I've got a husband. <laughs> <laughs> Jobs how, for the boys. How do you find actually working with your husband? It's so weird, but it's is so it nice. Fun. Yeah, I mean, listen, there to he be is. honest, he's such a great, great person. And a lot of people actually weirdly say we look alike. <laughs> <laughs> can you, can you, can you I just need to find people. me in male form. Isn't that weird? Where am I going to... I don't know if that's really a narcissistic weird? comment, but I did not do that intentionally. <laughs> at all. Are you no, sure? A lot, a like, lot of my mirror, of my mirror on the wall. Yeah. Apparently, though, <laughs> did you imagine? Apparently, though, you do morph into your that's partner a little bit. You start sounding like them, you start looking like it's them. It's either your partner or thing. your dog. dog. Yeah. Those are the two. But you Yours is your partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's also, to be fair, to he's also a genius. Thank you. No, it's nice to actually actually be with someone that really stimulates me mentally, respectfully, everybody, let's not go there, really does have this really great sort of knowledge about music as well as film and books and, I don't know, I guess he just expanded my sort of creativity in a really natural way, which I'm grateful well, You want to be pushed by your partner, don't exactly. you? I mean, that's kind of... And then I put him to work and made him do a couple of videos. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? And did he smash it? He did. did I? I mean, it was really cool. It was really, really spontaneous. I mean, he really put, kept me on my toes. It was like, this, 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 that, that, that. But it was a mini movie. And so praising you. And we have Norman, Fat Boy Slim in it, which was like really amazing. And that just topped it off. And it was nice to have all of us work together on this project. That was so nice. So Thanks. I saw Rita at Glastonbury. I didn't know I was looking at Rita no. at Glastonbury. No! Yeah. Nice! So I went You're to not go... supposed to know what's going on at Well, I, exactly. Why didn't you know you were looking at <laughs> I, was, I was right at the back, right? And this, so Norman, uh, Fatboy Slim, was headlining on the, yeah. the Saturday, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Yeah. And 
me and my friends were at the back and we were just like, this is amazing. And <laughs> yeah. then this one comes out, Killer Vocals, and I'm like, who's singing this song? It who's sounds ruining great. This? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> and then I'm, get her off. No. And, then, <laughs> and then I was like, and then someone just said to me afterwards, oh, she was great, wasn't she? I was like, who? Oh, yeah. I had no idea you were there. Oh, thanks. Well, that's, that's a good so sign. Good. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate that. No, it was um, fun. I love, love doing surprise pop ups, as you just saw earlier. <laughs> I just thought it was really nice. I met Fat Boy Slim at Glastonbury a year ago. And I actually really stalked him until he said yes to do a song with me because I love him so much. Electronic music, dance music, Fatboy Slim, the 90s. I mean, come on, it was just iconic. And so when he finally said yes, it was only right to close the chapter a year on coming out on his That's set. That's so amazing. So I'm really lucky. Talking of pop-ups, do, yeah. do you pop up in Love Island tonight? <laughs> what, the, what is going on? Guys, my dream has come true. So you've always wanted to go on Love Island? Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, I love watching the show. You know, yeah. I love reality TV, and it's a bit of a guilty pleasure for me. So what are you doing? I'm basically singing some songs, surprising <laughs> them, in peak heat, by the way. It's so hot there. I don't know how they do it. I was literally sort of sweating in places I didn't even know I could sweat from. And then... I can't tell you what happened. Well, I bet they were because so excited. Obviously, they I were was so excited so to see you. Happy to be there. And look, 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 yeah. So um, tune in because we're going to have a party. So is it like a stage, or were you just like that? Were you just sort of going around singing to them, going? Well, I was supposed to stay on the stage, but I just really wanted to get up close, and so I did. You have a look around the villa. I went and I saw them all, and I was like, guys, I love you all. But they don't, obviously don't know what's going on outside, so they were all asking, like, Do you have a what's favourite? Like? I don't know, I'm not watching it this year. I do, I do. I love Jess. I think she's a real good girl. She's and really... did you tell her? Yeah. Did you? She was so, so happy. Good. <laughs> so, so good. Um, but they obviously don't know what's going on, you know, because they've been in this villa, and so they're like, how is it? I'm like, I can't tell you anything. But it was amazing. It was a really fun experience, and I, I loved that it was able to go out there. Just very briefly, I, was, I love the fact you're a goggle box with your sister. It's, oh. it's just such a great. She's so lovely. Thing. She, great and you two are funny together. I think she's actually a star. I mean, she I is. hate that she's funnier than me. <laughs> I hate it. But it was so much yeah. fun doing it. Goggle box. It's again a big show. I'm actually just ticking off all my favourite shows. I, mean, I know you worked together, mate. <laughs> like, it just... must have been lovely working with her on. Yeah, it was because she just finally said people could see how funny. I am. I said, you know what? Let's settle down, relax. But it was amazing. Gogglebox is great. I love doing the promo because I'm just on all the shows I love doing. <laughs> this morning, <laughs> Love let's, Island, Let's Gogglebox. promo you up. You let's and do I. It. Should I just stay here? You and I, Rita's the new album. Third album. You and I yeah. out now by BMG. Thank Thanks, you. Rita. Love Least you guys. Women are